Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk about a knife I have that's actually named after a BB gun company. And uh, now, if you've ever seen a certain Christmas movie, then you've heard of the Red Rider BB gun, and that was named after the comic strip Red Rider. And the Red Rider BB guns were made by Daisy, and this is a Red Rider uh, knife. Um, that's the, not the knife company that I want to talk about. I want to talk about my Crossman Scout knife. And uh, Crossman was the other knife, uh, Crossman was the other um, pellet gun or BB gun that was really big back in the 60s and 70s. And uh, they also had a knife made uh, for them, and it was the Crossman Scout knife. And that's what we have here. And it's a pretty interesting knife. I mean, beyond being named after the Crossman company, you see here on the tank stamp, uh, if you can see it there the 918A Crossman USA Scout Knife. What's cool about it is it actually has a locking main blade so the blade will not close up on you. And um, oops, got to push back that way. Otherwise it's your basic Scout Knife. You got your um, cap lifter screwdriver, you've got your safety can opener, and you have your uh, punch on the back. And if you notice, half stop on that uh, punch blade. Not a half stop here. And there's no half stop here. But there is a half stop on the punch. Obviously because the uh, main blade locks, there's no half stop on the main blade. But you do have the liner lock on it, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's just a really nice knife. It's different than most other uh, scout knives for another reason too and that's because of its length now typically most full-size scout knives come in at three and five eighths of an inch or or um, three and three quarters of an inch but the Crossman scout knife is only three and a half inches long which is similar to what you find on a Girl Scout knife which are also three and a half inches long and for many years, a lot of people were telling me that this knife was made by Camillus. But that's absolutely not the case. This knife is actually was actually made by Cutmaster. And there's a couple ways you can tell that this was made by Cutmaster. Well, first is the length. It's three and a half inches long. And most Camillus Scout knives are either three and five eighths of an inch long or three and three quarters of an inch long. So the Cutmaster Girl Scout knife is three and a half inches long. So it's built on about the same frame as the Girl Scout knife. The next thing you'll see is the reamer here. Notice the uh, way this reamer has this reinforcement piece here. If you look at the reamer on a Girl Scout knife, it's essentially the same reamer. It even has the same half stop that you find on the Crossman knife. The next thing you'll notice is the uh, can opener on both knives. You see the can opener here, and notice the swedge here and the way it says can opener down there. If you look at the Girl Scout can opener, it's done almost identically. You've got that same swedge and the way it says can opener, the, the large C, the large O, and then can opener. They're not exactly the same, but that's because they're made in different years. But you can see the family resemblance. So you have that part going for it too. The cap lifter screwdriver is not quite the same, but it's pretty darn close. You'll notice that it's a narrower uh, tip on the can opener. But you do notice the little uh, lip right here is very similar in the cap lifter. So you can see this family resemblance once again. And also, if you notice, the uh, blades are on the same side. So you've got can opener to the left, cap lifter screwdriver to the right on both knives. So that's why, oh, and uh, obviously you can also look at a little bit of the uh, tang stamp, if we can see them here probably have to take a picture and just insert them but the font 
used on both the uh, tank stamps are about the same. So that's another sign that this knife was made by um, Cutmaster and not Camillus. Uh, overall, the bill on this knife is just excellent. Um, you've got wonderful brass liners and they're very thick. You've got the, uh, the uh, stainless steel back springs, uh, nice Delrin handles, and then uh, I believe these are aluminum bolsters, which would make sense if it's a Cutmaster because uh, Cutmaster uses aluminum bolsters on the uh, Girl Scout knives. But the really thing, the real big selling point of this knife, which makes it so interesting, was this brass liner lock that locks this main blade. And it's just, uh, you don't see it very often on uh, Scout knives. And indeed, this is the only Scout knife I have that has a liner lock for the main blade. So it's pretty cool. And that uh, is why this is one of my favorite Scout knives. You also got a really long shackle on here, which is pretty cool too. But um, there's my uh, Crossman Scout knife. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. I think it's a much cooler knife than the Red Rider with all of its blades, which is uh, basically a Swiss Army knockoff. I'll talk more about the Red Rider in another video, but today uh, we'll just uh, let the uh, Crossman Scout knife shine instead. Really cool knife, and uh, if you can get one, I would strongly suggest uh, going ahead and buying one. They go for, these days, uh, one in this kind of shape for around 25, 30 bucks on uh, eBay. I wouldn't spend too much more than that, but they are getting scarcer as time goes by. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll give you a little more specs on this uh, in a slideshow in just a little bit. Before I go on to the specifications of the uh, Crossman knife, let me first uh, clarify one thing. The knife actually isn't made by Cutmaster. It's made by Utica Cutlery Company. Cutmaster is a trademark of Utica Cutlery, and that is the tang stamp that you will find on a Girl Scout knife. So it is the same as a Cutmaster knife, but this knife is actually made by Utica Cutlery, just like the Cutmaster knives are made by Utica Cutlery. Cutmaster has been a trademark of Utica since 1937. The knife was actually manufactured with an etch on the blade that reads Crossman Blades with the little Crossman Bullseye logo on the blade also. The actual blade is two and a half inches long with a two and an eighth inch long uh, cutting edge to it. As I mentioned, the overall length of the knife is three and a half inches long. It features Delrin handles that are pinned on with brass pins. It has brass liners, um, stainless steel back springs, appears to have stainless steel blades, most likely 440. The uh, bolsters are either aluminum, nickel, silver, or stainless steel. And then it has a stainless steel uh, bell or shackle, which is about an inch long. The punch blade is 1.75 inches long with a boring edge that is 1.5 inches long. And the punch blade is the only blade on the knife that has a half stop. And finally, the one feature that seems to separate this knife from most other Scout knives is the use of a brass liner lock to hold the main blade open. As I mentioned, the 918A Crossman Scout Knife is one of my favorite Scout Knives. And part of that is the liner locking main blade, but it also is just a slimmer line knife than uh, many other Scout Knives. And at three and a half inches long, um, it actually fits the pocket a little bit better than some of the other knives that are three and three quarter inches long, or even three and five eighths inches long. Yet it's still just as functional as the other knives. And uh, that's why I thought I would uh, take the time to talk about it and show it to you. Um, love to hear what you think about the uh, Crossman 918A. And uh, if you have one, I'd love to hear your experiences with it. Uh, me personally, I just think it's a fantastic little scout knife. And uh, I would love to see more scout knives made in this particular fashion. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats, and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.